right team, uh, so what we're going to try to do for the next month, two months, is we're going to do a little bit of an experiment. I know a lot of people are frustrated and are struggling with trying to master their skill lifts such as the power clean, snatch, overhead jerk, whether it be push or split. So I developed a plan that's going to allow you to do homework on your own. It's going to be completely voluntary. I'm going to give you different movements to do and I want you to try to do 30, 30 of these a day. When you feel comfortable with where you're at, I want you to film yourself doing at least 10 of these. Then I want you to bring that video to me or to one of the other trainers and let them look it over. Okay? If we pass you, we're going to either graduate you on to a heavier weight or to more of a full range of motion. Now what you're going to need to make this happen, if you have an iPhone, I know there's an app out there, it's called Video Pix, P-I-X, Video Pix. What that allows you to do is it allows you to film yourself and then watch it frame by frame, which is really important when you're breaking down for video analysis. If you've got the droid or another type of phone, just find something that allows you to slow it down to frame by frame. The, I know like the iPhone video camera by itself will not go slow enough, so that's not going to be good enough. This app costs 99 cents, hopefully you can swing it. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to try to get ourselves to do is just the basic pulls. We're going to learn the snatch this first time up instead of the power clean or the jerk because the snatch and the power clean are so closely related and I think to be honest the snatch as far as pull wise it's a little bit easier to master right out of the gate. Okay guys, as you can see we're getting down into the setup position. You gotta have your weight in your heels, right? First go. Now check it out my knees. See how they're hanging over the bar? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But we really want to look at my back angle right now. Check out that bank, back angle as I begin my ascent. This bar is going to go straight up. Look at my back. Look at my back. It's staying at the same angle, or roughly at the same angle. That's good. That's what we're really wanting, okay? Now that I'm at a good explosive point, I'm going to try to keep coming up. The bar is roughly going to go in a straight line, and I'm really going to try to bring my hips back out to the bar, okay? So I'm going to try to bring those hips slowly back out to the bar. Here we go. Check this out. Up I go, and my bar staying close to my body, and finally it really meets my hips once I get up to full extension and I shrug the shoulders. That's really what we're looking for, okay? So let's look at this again from the get-go. Down we go. We've got a good setup position, again, in the heels, knees are over the bar. I'm going to begin my ascent. The bar is going straight up. It's staying close to my body. This is really important. Now I'm at the loading phase and it's time for me to bring those hips back out to the bar. Not bring the bar back to my hips, but bring the my hips out to the bar and I'm at full extension, okay? Now, as we're in here, guys, we're gonna get back down, we're gonna set up, I want you to check out a full speed one, right? Or kind of a medium speed. There you go. And again, I'm bringing my hips out. Notice the bar doesn't meet my hips until I get to full extension. Guys, if you're struggling with this, try to go at a slower speed. Try to go in a slower speed. This is what it's going to look like at full speed. There it is. There it is. Again, I can't point this out enough, guys. Slow it down. If you can't get exactly like this video is looking, then slow it down because slow is easier to perfect. Okay? Slow is easier to perfect. Hopefully, this will make it work for you guys. So, first of all, we're going to start with our PVC pipe. We're going to go slow motion, slow motion, all right? Once you start feeling as though you can do exactly what you've seen so far in the video, then I want you to start going to medium speed. And remember, from the ground to the knees is always slow. You've got it down pat, film yourself doing about 10 of them. If you think it looks good, bring it to me, Christina, Alonzo, one of the trainers, any of the trainers that knows what they're talking about, right? Bring it to them and have them look it over and we'll graduate you up to the 45 pound bar. We're able to do the 45 pound bar, then we'll graduate up to a power snatch. We're able to do the power snatch, then we'll go up on all the way down to the full snatch. All right? Get cracking.